Good evening, Eastern Standard Time. If you're watching this, you're checking in. I apologize for my neglectfulness. I was in Curtis, Michigan for a week doing some fishing, and it was freaking awesome. But I'm back now to Kentucky, and I went fishing today. Because <laughs> you can't have too much of that, in my opinion. <clears throat> I always say a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. And in that aspect, I could not agree more because just fishing in general is always good. I've never really had a bad fishing day. Maybe. I'll have to think about that. But it was nice being up in Curtis. Uh, it was a great little resort I went to with, five, with uh, four of the guys. And it was just awesome. I caught my first pike. Then I caught another pike. Then I caught a walleye. My first walleye. Then I caught a heap of yellow perch and they were delicious but now I'm back <clears throat> and what I've come to realize is that if I were working the trip I just took would not have been possible because I couldn't have gotten off um, and that's sad so anyway I am back I am on the job hunt again I put in like four applications today you know we'll see what happens <clears throat> I'm not worried. As long as there's posts on Indeed, it means people are hiring, right? So, I'll find something. I'm not worried about it. But I'd like to talk a little bit about stress and how to relieve it. Um, you know, a week vacation to a lot of people really isn't enough. It's nice, but, you know, like England has holidays where they, like, make you take a month off. I don't want to even see you until that month is over you know and that keeps you energized I think <clears throat> sorry allergies are really getting to me now that I'm back in Kentucky <clears throat> but I mean I've been off since the 7th technically I won't say off I've been unemployed since the 7th and you know I, I stressed at first and then I got kind of I was in a state between panic and relief I was relieved that I was away from the shit job, but I was panicked because I didn't have a job and I didn't have any schedule. But being on like an actual vacation and not being around home, and don't get me wrong, I missed my dog something awful. I really did, and they missed me obviously when I got back, I could tell. I think they thought I got raptured. But take some time for yourself. Uh, there's a lot of crap going on right now. I mean, you know, politics especially is enough to drag any person down. <clears throat> I don't care what you affiliate yourself as, as far as politically, but it's enough to bring anybody down on both sides, on whatever side you're on. I'm not going to get into what side I'm on. It doesn't really matter because it is what it is. And honestly, I don't take it too seriously anymore. I got my own opinions about that. I won't bore you, but, you know, take some time for yourself. <clears throat> if you work a lot, and I know people that do, and yes, you have to work, and depending on your job, you're, they're going to ask a lot of you, but you know what, they're going to ask a lot of you as long as you keep giving into it, um, and I'm not saying just play hooky for a week, you know, but... If they ask you if you want overtime and normally you give it, take a night off. You know, uh, ask for a Friday or a Monday off. Take a long weekend and go do what you want to do, whatever that might be. Uh, I know people that metal detect, you know, fishing is my thing, obviously. Hunting, whatever. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're a lounge lizard. Go out and try and seduce a bartender. I don't know. But there's some suggestions but take some time for yourself life is too short and it's way too stressful and you know the news and your family and your friends and your loved ones and your spouse and your kids and your animals and your bills and all this crap man that's enough to put anybody in the gutter and keep them there and I was in the gutter for a long time you know but you gotta learn to crawl out of it. 
and just do little things for yourself. It ain't gotta be big, week-long vacations. Do something for you. You know, I'm always I preach about helping people out, and I and I mean it. But honestly, if if you're not helping yourself out, you're not gonna be good to you know help others out because you can't help yourself. <clears throat> Self care. You know, make sure that gas tank is over half full. You can run on half a tank, but if something happens where you got to scoot and you ain't got time to stop at a gas station, you could be in a heap of trouble before you even get to where you're going. Uh, food for thought. Yeah, food for thought. But anyway, had a great time. It's good to be back, though, home, you know. Good to see the dogs again. <clears throat> good to see my friends again. It was a really good experience altogether, you know. And, uh, distance and whatnot make the heart, the heart grow fonder, however you say it. Well, my heart grew very fond of where I'm from and a lot of things I take for granted, you know. So let's not do that either. I know I'm throwing a lot at you right now. But here's just some musings of a hillbilly philosopher as he's driving home from eating too much Mexican food. So yeah, there you go. Learn to love yourself. Because like I said, if you can't love yourself, you're almost no good to anybody else. And everyone around us, you know, we're, we're what we, the world makes it in taking care of each other is important. So take care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I'm not saying, you know, you gotta be a selfish, a selfless guy and per a girl and, you know, give every cent of money you have away from you or every bit of time. Because as a man who owns a truck, I know about giving time to others. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is do something good for you. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself. Learn to love yourself. It took me 30 something years to find self worth. And I'm 40. And honestly, I cannot remember, even as a child, of myself having self worth. I never liked myself. I could always find something that I didn't like, and I used to always focus on that. And that's no way to live. If you have that same kind of problem, I've been right where you've been. I don't know your current situation, but I know how you feel and I can relate to it. And I'm telling you, you can be better. You can be a better person. You can be a person that loves yourself and you can be a, a kind, giving person at the same time. And you know, all those things add up to a better world. So, I'll, I'll close now. Sorry, I'm just, I know I'm rambling on. It's good to be back. Had a great time. And now it's time to get back to business and try and find a freaking job. Because bills don't pay themselves. This truck ain't going to pay itself off. And I got two dogs to feed. But I want you to know that I care about each and every one of you. And if you ever need to talk, I am here for you. So remember that. Because I've been in more situations than you might realize. Uh, common ground can make a world of difference when you're trying to vent, when you're trying to heal, you know, when you're trying to look for improvement. So take care of one another. Do an act of kindness every chance you get. Do something good for yourself, as long as it's not at somebody else's expense, mind you. Take care of one another. We're all we've got. And thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You know, knowing that I have all y'all kind of passively involved in my life, it, you know, it warms my heart to know that I'm trying to get a message out there and that you're hearing it. But thank you for watching. And if you're watching this, you're checking in. Have a great night.